Hello everyone. Recently I got a lot of broken Android tablets. The idea is I want to turn them into portable gaming consoles. So I got a lot of uh, six broken tablets. All of them have broken touchscreen, which doesn't matter because I'm going to remove the broken touch and keep only the screen. The idea is I want to make something similar with this one, except the touchpad. I want to keep the cost as low as possible, so I will just put some buttons from a USB keyboard. It will only feature just some D-pad and some A and B buttons to play some old retro emulators. So I got all of these six tablets for one dollar each tablet. So basically I paid less than one dollar because I paid five dollars for all six tablets. So in this video I'm just going to check which one turns on and can be used for this project. So without further ado let's start with the first one. Uh, it seems to be CMX Klanga 70 GPS. I have never heard about this brand before. So let's plug in the charger and see what happens. I'm just curious to see if the screen is okay, even if the touchscreen is so broken. So let's see if something will happen when we plug in the charger doesn't oh yes so this one has a broken screen and a broken touchscreen so definitely this one cannot be used for this project unfortunately this one will go to scrap maybe i can just use some components from it but yeah this one doesn't work for this project uh second one Second one is Chili Green. I wonder where they came up with these names. Let's see what this one does. Oh, a battery appeared, seems to be charging. Let's see if we can turn it on. Oh, well. Yeah, I think the, the screen is good on this tablet. So, yeah, this is a good, neat 7 inch screen Android tablet. And as far as I can tell from now, the screen does seem to be good, at least the parts that I could see so far. Let's wait for it to boot. Hmm. Yeah, this one seems to be good. Oh, even the touchscreen seems to be working. Hmm. Yeah, at least partially. So uh, I think. Yeah, I think just half of the of the screen is is working. So like this half, this half doesn't. Anyway, it doesn't matter because we're just going to use uh, we're just gonna going to use it with arrow keys. Okay, so this one is good for this project. We put it here. Uh, okay, next one. Next one is an Asus Zenpad. Let's see. Oh. If we are also lucky with this one. Mm, vibration, that's a good sign. But there seems to be nothing on the screen. Ah, actually, I think I do see something. Ah. 
you can see here this part is light which means the screen is broken on this one so yeah unfortunately this one will go to scrap also this one also cannot be used for this project okay this one doesn't seem to have a broken screen it's just badly scratched but it's not cracked so let's check Alcatel Alcatel Pixie Alcatel One Touch Pixie tablet let's see what this one does Nothing so far. Hmm, this one doesn't seem to do anything. Try to plug in the charger again. There's no light, there's nothing. No sound, nothing came out of it. Quite strange because it's the first one that seems to have a, a not broken screen. Um, maybe the battery is just so discharged that it will uh, I will need to open up uh, to open it up and charge the battery separately or maybe connect another battery or, or, on it so this one I don't know yet I don't know if this one will work or not so this one we're going to open up and see what is inside but let's first finish checking the other tablet. So, yeah, I don't even know what this is. This one doesn't even have any label on it. The screen is broken. Yeah, this one, this one, I think it's completely gone. So, let's see what happens if, when we plug in the charger. Oh, wow. The screen seems to be fine so far. It appears to be charged. Oh, wow. also 70% battery. This is interesting. Let's see if it turns on. Ah, it seems to be a MediaTek tablet. And I I think also the screen on this one is good. Wow. Yeah, it seems to be seems to be fine. The screen seems to be fine. Although the viewing angles are not the best on this tablet. So actually the display of this small one is better, better quality than this one. But anyway, it's a good it's a good tablet that can be used for this project. Okay. So let's continue checking. Uh, next one, next one is Denver. I have no idea. I never heard about this brand. Uh, the screen is cracked. So let's see where is the charger, here it is, it doesn't seem to do anything, oh and it seems the power button is missing, so basically there's no way I'm going to be able to press there unless with a tweezer 
Uh, as far as I can feel, the button is, is completely gone from the motherboard. So, yeah, this one, this one also, we don't know if it, uh, the screen doesn't seem to be broken as far as I can see, just the touch screen. But definitely I'm going to have to open up and see what's inside. So the last tablet is a very interesting one. It looks like an iPad, but actually uh, it does have, it does feature uh, a, an Ethernet port, uh, HDMI port and two USB type A ports. So definitely a very interesting tablet and here it has a stylus and uh, here it has something that looks like i don't know what kind of connector is this maybe it's like a gps antenna external gps antenna so uh, unfortunately uh, this one does not have a, a usb port for charging and uh, it uses its own propri proprietary charging socket so in order to check this tablet definitely i'm going to have to open it up and see what's inside there's no way i'm going to be able to charge it the screen on this one also does seems to be fine badly scratched but not cracked so that's a good sign. Okay, so it seems so far we have two tablets that can be used for this project. So in the next videos, we will make a case and uh, buttons and turn them into portable gaming consoles. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these ones.